Now here's my uh, Bosch electric hot water heater and it basically just has an ordinary plug that you plug into a hundred and ten volt or hundred twenty volt AC socket. Well in order to in order to make sure that you don't accidentally leave your hot water heater on and forgot to forget to turn it off, a lot of people installed with a timer in the circuit. So in order to put a timer in, you need to select a location where you might want to put it. In my particular case, I really didn't want the timer to be out anywhere in the open where you could just easily reach turn it on and for someone possibly a young child that may not know what that is for end up turning on the hot water heater and draining the batteries so I'm going to put my timer inside my closet that I'm building here and I'm going to mount it up here in the corner so you just have to reach in turn it on and it's will turn on the hot water heater so that's going to be out of the way and it's going to be an in, a, in an area that is going to be kind of hidden sort of but certainly out of the way of someone that may not understand what that timer is all about so I'm installing a plug in this location so I could plug in my electric wa hot water heater. But I want to have it such that I could have that hot water heater on a timer. So I bought a 15 amp timer and I want to wire it up such that the lower half of this plug is on a timer and the upper part is always live. So when I plug my hot water heater into the lower plug, I could set a timer such that the hot water heater only runs for a certain length of time so it's not accidentally left on and drains the battery. In order to do that circuit, you need to take the hot side and snip the connection between the two screws. That isolates the black wire such that the black wire on this terminal only powers the top of the switch. A black wire on the bottom terminal powers the lower switch. The black wire on the bottom is going to be coming from the timer. So through a wire the timer will be connected like this. And this other connection picks up the power. So I'm going to be running the power to this terminal goes through the timer and then powers the plug on the bottom which the hot water heater will be plugged into. I'm going to be mounting my uh, timer and I'm going to be using this timer to turn on and off my electric water heater. These timers need to be mounted in an electrical box so I'm going to mount an electrical box into this board and mount it in the van. Might need a little gentle persuasion to go in. So I've made a panel that will mount
So there's my uh, cabinet that I've mounted this timer switch in for my water heater. And there is this timer at the top. So all you do is reach in and you turn it on. Spring timer doesn't take any power and it turns on my electrical plug down here. <clears throat> so here's my plug that I got wired into the van and I've wired a timer to the bottom part of this plug for the hot water heater and the top plug is live. So I'm going to test that out. I've got a uh, a 1400 watt, 1550 watt, 13 amp uh, heat gun. And if I plug that into the top plug, turn it on and away it goes. turn into the bottom plug, turn it on, and there is no power. So I'm going to test this out by going over and turning the timer on and see how it works. goes. Works well. <laughs>